what is up youtube so today in this video i will be showing you how you can create your own custom email address using your own domain name via amazon workmail service so let's get started Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Before creating a custom email address, you need a domain name registered in your Route 53 service. If you don't know how to register a domain name in Route 53, I have a video on that, link to which is appearing on the screen. So as you can see, I have many registered domain in my Route 53 dashboard. So I'm just gonna open this one as I will be creating a custom email address for this domain, which is pixona.co.uk. Now, what I want you to do is open the workmail service in a new tab. Now, if you are opening the workmail service for the first time, you might get a splash screen and a screen which is different than mine, but that's okay. You just need to click on create organization button and now click on quick setup button. Now, in organization name, enter your domain name without any dots. So in my case, it will be Fixona Co UK. And this should generate a unique URL to access your webmail application. Now click on create. And just like that, we have created our organization. Now open the organization we have just created. Now we need to wait a little. As you can see, the state of our organization is creating and we have to wait till it becomes active. Okay, so it took around a minute for the state to become active. Now click on the organization name and now we need to configure it and link it with our domain name registered in the Route 53 service. Now click on the domain option at the side menu and click on add domain. Now in the domain name, select the domain you want to create an email address for. In my case, it's fixona.co.uk. And now click on add domain so now the domain has been added but not configured so let's configure it and click on configure manually now in order to verify our ownership we need to create all these um, all these records in the route 53 service as well let's start by this first txt type record so you just need to copy the host name and now move on to the tab in which you have your hosted zone open for the Route 53 service. Click on create record. Select the simple routing policy. Click next. And now click on define simple record. Now for the record type, select the TXG. Now I need to copy the link of the host name. Well, let me just split the screen so we can have a better view of it. Now I'm just gonna copy the first part, excluding the fixona.co.uk. As you can see, we already have the fixona.co.uk. Now in the value route traffic to field, select IP address or another value depending on the record type and paste the value we just copied from the workmail tab. Now click on define simple record. So just like this, we have created our first record type for the verification. And we have to do the same procedure for all of these record types. Now I will create all of these verification records and just fast forward the video so you guys don't have to wait. So now, as you can see, I have created all of these record types, which includes three TXT type records one MX type and four CNAME type records. Now just click on create records. Now, as you can see, all of the new records have been added. Let me just move it to the same tab. So these are all of the new records we have, which we have just created. Now what we want to do is move on to the white mail tab and click on refresh. As you can see, the status is still pending. That is because it can take some time to for the status to get updated. So I'm just gonna pause the video and we'll update you uh, when the status is updated. So it's been like two minutes and now let's just refresh and see if the status is updated. 
and there you go the status is now verified now just hit the refresh button for every tab and you can see all the status the status for every record is now verified at this point you don't need to worry about the step for verification okay you can just leave it and now the last thing what we need to do is click on the users and click on create new user here enter your username you will be needing your username when logging in also enter your first name last name and display name click on next step and now here you need to enter the email address you can enter whatever you want since it is a custom email address so i'm just gonna enter my name and in the drop down here you need to select your domain name not uh, your domain name dot aws apps dot com but your actual domain name now select a password for your account and you just need to click on the add user button okay so it is saying that my password is weak so i'm just gonna set a strong password and click on add user and boom we have our user created so if you want to log into this account click on the organization and under your organization you have this default mail domain just copy the link or the url and paste it in a new tab Also, don't forget to add slash mail at the end. This should open the Amazon Work Mail client. Now you just need to add your enter your username and your password to log into your account. And that is it. I have logged in into my custom email address which I have just created. So if you have any queries, you can drop your questions in the comment and I'll try to get back to them. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. Take care.